Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see about the dynamic variables. Okay. So we have seen collections, environment, and local data, global variables, right? The last one is dynamic variables. So what is dynamic variables? So the Postman has a default uh, library support called Faker library, which is JavaScript. So that will give you the random names, address, email address, whatever the data that you want. Okay, so some common generic dynamic variables, random variables are available by default in the Postman. So for example, the name. So we were sending the name from our data, Excel sheet, CSV file or JSON file, I, or we were setting as a collection variable or environment variable, right? So instead of doing this, this name is common, right? So for example, I want to create 100 records with a different data, like a different name, mobile number, address, everything. So these are the most generic common things, right? So for example, here I'm going to give them some random name. So if you want to use the dynamic variables, so you have to put the dollar symbol. Okay. By the moment when you put the dollar symbol, you can see bit, uh, stamp, I mean timestamp, alphanumeric. So a lot of variables are available. You can see random city, random color, image, country, county, state, everything will come. Okay. So now I want to get the random name. So just type it as a name. You can see random name, prefix, suffix, and file name, full name, last name, username. There are a lot of names that come. So okay, for our case, it is a random full name. Okay. So job. So job also, it's a common, right? So when you type job, you can see random job title is coming, job type is coming. Okay, we'll go for a random title. And if you want to generate some name, so just put a dollar symbol again. So you have to put a dollar symbol if you want to use the dynamic variables. Okay, these dynamic variables, Postman has a default usage that is, I mean, taking from the faker library. Okay, Postman uses the faker library to generate the sample data, which is a random data. Okay. So here, the random mobile number name, I mean, like this. So if you just type phone number, you can see the phone number is coming, okay? So similarly, skills, uh, let's see, uh, we have any skills. No, we don't have any skills. So for example, I'm going for a job type. Okay, so job title is coming. Okay, let it be. Okay, so address, when you come to address, just put a dollar symbol again. So just type it as city. So you can see some random city is coming. Okay. And the street also, you will get some random street because these are the most common things, right? So you will get it for the random street address. And the experience also, you can get it. So if you just put it as a uh, Boolean value, random Boolean is coming. Yeah. So I can use like this. Okay. So date. So date also, you can, it's a generic one. So just type as a date. Uh, you can see the past date, future date, recent date. Correct. So if you just type time, timestamp is done. Okay, so timestamp will give you the local time. I mean, your current time. So now when I send this request, you can see some random name will be coming. Okay, you can see some random names are coming. Job also random is coming. Mobile number is coming. And you can see city also some random city coming. Some state, I mean, okay, this is state, right? So let me make it to street. Okay, you have a state also. So for example, if you are sending the state. And go for a count. Country. Country. So let me make it as country. State also will be there. I mean, I don't have time to search for it. So I'm just sending for the country now. Okay, okay, it should be in the double quotes. Okay, so now if I send this, you can see some random uh, country is coming. Okay, so when I send this again, so from ra random none. Okay, random name, you can see the name is keep on changing, mobile number changing, city also changing, and street also changing, right? So this is called random variables. Okay, so, so apart from this, you have a lot of things. So for example, if you want to generate width, right? So it is like alphanumeric with the 16 digit. So you can just go for a GUID. Okay, you can see width is coming. There are a lot of variables are coming in the dynamic. You can see country, uh, currency name, currency symbol, right? So a lot of things, which is very common. Okay, so for example, image URL also, it will come. 
So if I give it as image URL, then random image URL will come here. Okay, it should be in the double quotes. So if any request that you are sending as an invalid, so you will get it as a 400 bad request. That's what we are getting here. So here is extra space. Now you can see it will work. You can see some random URL is coming. Okay. So like this, you can use the dynamic variables and Postman uses the Faker library to generate this kind of sample and random dynamic data. Okay. This is what all about the local, I mean, uh, dynamic variables. Okay. So now what I can do, I can have this and I can go for a collection runner. So for example, I want to create like a 20 data or 50 data with random data. Okay. So I want to create 50 requests into my database. I want to make the entry. So what I can do, I can go for a simple run. So I can uncheck this, or I can give it as a 10 request. So for every 10, it is going to take the different, different names, okay, different, different data. Since we are using as a dynamic variable, so you can see the first one. It's a request body went as a Rita, right? So if you see the first one, the request body, you can see it is going as an alter, right? So some random, so now I have a 10 entry in my database, so I can go for a testing, right? So again, you can go for a new run and again, you can go. I mean, do further. Okay, so these are the uh, options that we can we can leverage our dynamic variable, which is a faker library by default post. And you, thank you guys.